Jared Jensen, Upset City today. Uh, first period, Ian hit you with a couple nice takedowns, but uh, the riding is where it came down to. What what the coaches say to you going into that one? Well, we knew that you know he was high caliber on the feet, and I, we just went to the game plan, and I wanted to make him work. Um, if I was going to go up some takedowns, I was going to get away and make him work, just hand fight. And then if I could get on top, you know, I knew I could make him work, possibly ride him out, and it ended up working out for me. So two huge wins for you this weekend. You beat Sparty, who's a two-time NCAA qualifier for OU. You beat Ian today. Um, I mean, those are two huge wins. Uh, the MAC rankings and the, the seating is going to be a little weird. Yeah. Lavalley has a win over you, and it's going to be all jumbled up. Yeah. But, uh, you know, you look at that win today. What's that do for your confidence? And you're not even in the top, the coach's panel. Mm -mm. Now you sh we could see you jump in there. Yeah. But what's that do for your confidence? Oh, it definitely helps it a lot. I know I've been right there with all those guys, just right on the edge, not – not being able to really break through, I'm losing a lot of one point matches and it's just getting to that point where I need to start breaking through and making guys work and just, just take, go and take the wins and this will help my confidence a ton and hopefully it does shake up the rankings in my favor a little bit so I can get to that national tournament. Looking at this match last year, I think you got tacked or pinned against TJ Keklak. Was that you? Um, in the no. duel with Kent State? No, it I, uh, I think it was like a one, I had lost to him, but it was like a one point match. It was, oh, it was like a that. close yeah. match. I ended up dislocating my finger twice in that match. Oh, that's what that meant. Okay, that's yeah, the match that with was... the guy. Okay, you had a dislocated hand. Yeah. Well, you know, you lose that match last year, you get to come back and, and win that, this match this year. It ends up ultimately deciding the duel. Mm -hmm. You know, you and Blaze, ultimately, if you want to look at two guys, you're the guys who decide to win the duel. You lose Friday. I know Coach Swab probably wanted to, there was probably steam coming out of his ears. Oh, yeah. You know, what, what does he say to you guys after a win like this? Oh, he, he's going to be very enthused. Uh, we've had a couple rough losses and we just feel like as a team we haven't been wrestling with enough emotion, enough fight, just you know all the things that you need to you know beat some of the top guys there are and uh, I think he's gonna um, respond well and he's gonna he's gonna keep pushing us to have that bet more fight, more emotion, not worry so much about what we're doing technically and who we're wrestling but as long as we're fighting and giving 100 percent he's gonna be happy. These next two duels for your guys that are both in the top 33, mm -hmm. Old Dominion and Iowa State, how important are these next two duels for you to win? Oh, they're huge for me. I mean, this is only one match. You know, Miller, he's been doing it consistent, consistently, you know, all his whole career, and I need to start doing things like that if I'm going to beat guys like this, and I need to build on this and hopefully come into the MAC, wrestling real well, and take myself in the national tournament. What do you guys got to do as a team to be there last year? You came sh up short in the uh, MAC tournament. You won the individual. I think you're undefeated in duels. And uh, you come up short in the MAC tournament. What do you guys got to do as a team to, to knock off Mizzou, to knock off Central, to knock off Old Dominion, these teams in the league that are tough? What do you guys got to do? Uh, we got to stay where we're good. And we got to we got to just wear on guys and fight. I mean, we're not probably the most talented team out there, but I guarantee these guys can be some of the toughest guys out there. So if we come in here and get go out there for seven minutes, making each guy fight for a whole seven minutes, I think we're going to come out on top more often than not. All right. You guys ride back to uh, Iowa tonight? Flying back. Flying back? Yeah, you guys yeah. flew here, huh? Yeah, we did. Out of Cleveland? Time. Um, you flew into Akron, Columbus. Akron? Akron? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Tomorrow morning or tonight? Uh, tonight. Tonight? We're, we're getting back. We'll get back late tonight. He's got about 3.9 GPA, so he's, he's got to get back a second. <laughs> Smart guy. All right. You got anything else for me? No, thank you. All right. Congratulations on the win today. All right. Thank you.